Revelation 613. From the 11th of October 1938. Heavenly Locks. Adversity. Father's Words. Leave all your worries and only trustingly devote yourself to this work. See, whoever is active for me, I already direct him according to my will, and where resistance arises purely outwardly, I am near you with my care and love. These heavy thoughts come to you only to spur you on to ever more intensive activity, for lukewarmness and carelessness do not promote this work, but only willing absorption at all times can ensure progress. Leave all your worries to me, I want to take them from you, but they are sometimes necessary to cheer up the spirit. So also today a proclamation goes to you, in wise foresight of what is coming, destined to give you comfort and strength, the floodgates of heaven will open anew, and whole regions will be in trouble and distress. The Father's mercy only sends this distress upon the earthly people in order to save for eternity those of good will. In this time, all otherwise active forces in my order will freeze, all confidence in the rule of nature will dwindle, people will be at the mercy of the powers from above, so that hearts must turn to God if they want help from their misery. The thought of death in the middle of life is so terrible to them that they will certainly ask for the preservation of life, and those who takes their refuge in me, will also be saved, because just for these I let all adversity come over the earth, so that through this, they would come into living contact with their Creator, because what is still slumbering in them now, shall be awakened to active life. The apparent worship which they believe to perform for me today is only a vain habit, neither animated by right thinking nor by deep, undoubted faith. The intimate relationship with the Father will only be established in greatest distress, even if people want to rebel beforehand and doubt the rule of a deity. When they are no longer able to do anything on their own, they will go into themselves and recognize the true Father. And in such an hour your faith must be firm and unshakable. You must not then waver or become despondent, for I am always near and await every call. Therefore, remember, my child, do not let doubts take over in you. It is such an incomparable blessing to maintain this connection that you can cover your days of life in the fullest confidence and will always feel the helping hand of your Saviour even in earthly worries. I want to see you, my children, strong in faith and trusting in me. And every anxiety shall leave your heart. That is also why the tests for your soul are allowed, but which you can easily pass if you immerse yourself in my word and remain in believing, intimate prayer. Never neglect to commend yourself and your actions to your heavenly Father and ask him for his blessing, then you can face every day without worry. To defeat yourself is the most beautiful victory. But to fight for your Lord and Saviour, nothing must seem too difficult to you, so that my love may always take care of you. Amen.